Hello everyone, my name is Charlie here today, back again with a brand new episode in the Cheltenham Town Career Mode series. Today is episode number two of the second season here with the newly promoted side, Cheltenham Town. And in today's episode, we're going to be playing the game, the final of the preseason tournament. It is going to be against Go Ahead Eagles. Um, as I said in the last episode, I was going to play the semi-final against PEC Swole. We won it 2-0. Um, I actually forget who scored the goals in that game, but it was a pretty easy game in the end. And now we got the go-ahead Eagles in the final. Also today, I've added an extra person to the shortlist, Jack Harrison. I've added an extra person to the shortlist, Jack Harrison, which was su suggested by Mikael Carlson14. So thank you so much for suggesting Jack Harrison. Um, I, he said that he might be a bit expensive for Season 2 and maybe try for him in the Championship which is a good idea, and I'll probably look at him in January, if not next season. But he will stay on the shortlist for now. Thank you so much. Also, in the last episode, we put in some bids for Darnell Johnson and Daniel Iverson. Um, I am going... They both said that they don't want the player, basically. So we're going to have to give them just cash for um, the players that they want. Darnell Johnson, would he? Would they accept 200000 I would like to think so. Hopefully they don't need him that much. Um, and for Daniel Iverson, the other player, he's worth 275. So I'm going to offer 275. So basically, all we're going to go in for is a goalkeeper, a, a backup goalkeeper, a backup right back, and a backup winger. So um, we've got those two on lock. They're the two that we want to go for. Um, but before we look at the winger that I really want to go for, we're going to look at this transfer offer here for Kyle Storer. 70,000 from Morgan. Give me 100,000, please. The winger I'm probably going to go in for is going to be Lewis Dunn from Colchester. He is Irish. He is pretty decent looking. Uh, and we are going to go in for him as soon as we get the scout report back on him. I don't know how long it will be. But his stats look like they will be okay. And of course, he can play across all of the front line. Well, behind the striker, that is. And that is exactly what we need. So we're going to go straight into this final against the go-ahead Eagles, and then we will get on with a little bit of transfer business. Not too much to be done. As you guys would have seen, we have barely any money, and we have to uh, gain a lot of money. So here we go, guys, into probably the only game of the episode. We're playing the go-ahead Eagles at the Amsterdam Arena. Let's get into this one. We are playing a pretty decent squad today. McLaren is going to be playing for the first time in front of you guys. Same with Jensen. Um, and I think all the new signings are playing today, to be honest. Um, but other than that, we've got a pretty strong team around them. Let's see if we can beat this team from the Netherlands. So 25 minutes in, nothing to write home about so far. Um, neither of the teams have had any good opportunities just yet. Um, they are pretty good at cancelling us out so far. And we can't find that final ball just yet. But we could have an opportunity here. Dayton out wide into the middle. There's no one there. McLaren can get to it. And all the... Neither could, sorry, Ultra Jensen. And there is the halftime whistle. It will be 1-0 going into the break. So a halftime substitution, it looks like, for both teams. I'm bringing on Cardoso for Jack Mons. I'm going to play Connor Chaplin from the left and, of course, Cardoso in behind, um, in behind Jamie McLaren. Into McLaren. McLaren looking to lose his man, but he couldn't just yet. And here is Cardoso. Take a strike. One of their players has laid that down for one of our players. What's going on here? Where was the foul? In for Frederick Aldrup Jensen. Try to send away Cardoso. And he's in behind here, Cardoso. And he couldn't get a good enough shot on it. But Cummins sends that one behind for a corner. Pressure slightly building for us. Can we get a goal from this one? Jamie McLaren couldn't get under it. But it will be a second corner. Once again, pressure building. Cardoso whips it in. On the end of it is Jamie McLaren, but it will be a goal kick. Unfortunately, nothing comes from that. So quite a few substitutions for us now. Jamie McLaren, after an alright debut, is going to be coming off. So is Dayton, Leonard, and another player. And we're making a few changes, so just some fresh legs should be good. On the wing, get the one into Cardoso. Cardoso take a strike, looking for that bottom corner, and he couldn't get there. And with 30 seconds to go before injury time... It's still nil-nil. I think it goes straight to penalties in preseason. And that's going to be the full-time whistle. It's going to go to penalties. So they're going to step up first for a penalty. I think he is going to stay in the middle. So that's just what I'm going to do with Freddie Woodman. Let's say he's going to stay in the middle. Let's just go oh, he's missed. He's missed his first penalty. We've been gifted an opportunity here. We are going to have this on. 
And we're going to swap it to this corner. Oh, he saved it. Oh, no. I shouldn't have done that. Oh, well, it's nil-nil in the penalty shootout. I reckon he's going to go to the left this time. Let's dive to the left. And he has, but he hasn't saved it. Oh, Freddy. Oh, no. Well, Pell's just got to have a good one into the side netting. And it's a very good penalty from Harry Pell. Um, and now it's them, their number nine, D. Cogrel. Oh, he's going to go to the right, and he's gone to the left again. That's 2-1. It is still pretty even here if we can score with Stevenson. Let's go for that bottom corner. And he saved it again. Oh, they're on top now. Oh, no, this is not good. Looking to make it 3-1 now. If they win this tournament, he's going to go to the right. Oh, they're going to the left again. Oh, we have to score this one, I think. And it's Perso to step up for it. Let's go to that side. And that's a brilliant penalty from the captain. And now they can score and take the advantage again. I'm going to go to the right this time. Oh, he's missed. Oh, that's so lucky. They're going to the same side every time. Now Cardoso, let's hit it into that side netting on the left. And it's a good save from their keeper. He's saving freaking everything. Okay, they're going to have to change side this time. He's, I reckon this guy's going to stay in the middle. No, we're going to the right. Oh, he did stay in the middle. Oh, no. Okay, we have to score here with Jennings. This is such a big shootout. Let's go for the top corner. And what a penalty. Nearly saved by the keeper. Okay, and now David for them. He's going to go bottom right. Let's go for it. Bottom right. Oh, he's gone bottom left. Okay. Okay, we need to keep scoring here. It's now Paige. Paige is going to go to that corner. And it's a great penalty from Paige. Good stuff from him. And now it's their number 77. He's going to stay in the middle. He is going to stay in the middle. No, he's gone bottom corner. Damn it. So it's 5-4 on penalties. Can Billy Waters find that bottom corner? Yes, he can. Great stuff from the number 8. Moves on to the number 4 for the opposition. 5-5 five, five on penalties. He's going to smash it to the right, I reckon. And he smashed it to the left. What is going on? I can't save freaking anything. Okay, it's now Bathram for us. Going to look for that side. And he's found it. Bathram's done well. The keeper doesn't move. Now, Freddie Woodman. I'm going to go for the left. This time, they're going to shoot for the right. Watch it. And I'm going to go bottom left. Yes, he's... Oh, he didn't keep it out. Oh, far out, Freddie Woodman. Okay, it's now C Carol Metz. The new signing, the new centre back. Let's go to that side. Oh, it's been saved. We've lost the penalty shootout. Oh, Freddie Woodman, if he had only saved the recent penalty before that. I dived the right way and everything. That was a very good penalty from Metz, but it was a very good save from the opposition keeper. And it's going to be a loss in the penalty shootout in the preseason tournament. We need these funds. I can't believe we've lost this game. That is so unfortunate, but good job to the go-ahead Eagles. So there you go, 7-6 on penalties. That's insane. Unfortunately, they were the better team. So we got a transfer offer here for Connor Chaplin, only 1.3 million. We are going to reject that one. So they only want to pay 80,000 for Stora. I'll ask for his value of 90,000. They got to give me that. Come on. And they want 325 for Darnell Johnson. I'll give them 225. We can't be going too high for a rotational right back. And we got another offer here for Freddie Woodman. I had the price tag last episode set to 9 million. So 9 million will remain as his price tag. They want so much for Overseen. They want 425,000. I'll give them 325. Maybe they'll accept that. So we've got an offer for Freddie Woodman and for Connor Chaplin. Once again, 9 million is Woodman's price tag. Uh, currently, Connor Chaplin doesn't have a price tag. We could set one at like 7 million, but I'm just going to reject the offers for now. So Stora looks like he's going to be on his way to Morecambe for the 90,000. Uh, and another offer for Connor Chaplin, 1.5 from Leeds. They're going to reject that. They really want the 325 for Darnell Johnson. I'll give them 250. That's probably as high as I can go, to be honest. They've accepted the offer for the goalkeeper, which is very nice to see. We'll give him a five-year contract as a squad rotational player. I hope he will accept that. And we've got another offer here for... Our main man, Freddie Woodman, in the between the sticks, 9 million is his offer, sorry, Aberdeen. So, uh, Bordeaux don't want to pay that much for Freddie Woodman. We got another offer, Freddie Woodman. Sorry, Celtic, it's 9 million, mate. I think I might go in for Hansen over uh, the guy that I'm trying to get from Leicester. He will be a much cheaper option, um, so I might go in for him. And we did indeed get our scout report back on Lewis Dunn. 
Um, I might offer them, I might offer them Adam Page. I know he is a pretty decent play for us, but if I could give them Adam Page plus 200,000, they might accept that. So Stora has gone to Morecambe, uh, which is good to see. We got a bit of money there. And Darnell Johnson, the offer has been accepted. Um, we will compare him to the alternate option, um, which we have currently just started going in for, which I forget his name now. But we will offer him a contract. Um, Freddie Woodman, they don't want to pay that much for him, just for a change. Another offer for Freddie Woodman, Las Palmas this time. Nine million, please. So guys, I've decided I'm not going to show you guys if people bid for Freddie Woodman anymore. Every time someone bids for it, I'm going to ask for nine million. And if someone accepts it, then I'll show you. So it looks like we will be making our first signing, which is going to be Daniel Iverson from uh, Leicester City as a rotational goalkeeper, just in case Freddie Woodman either gets transferred or injured or something like that. We just need a backup, and this guy should be a good option. So we're going to bring him in. Only 325,000 uh, with 3.6 million per week. 3.6 million per week. I wish he wishes. He probably wishes. Um, three. 3.6k per week, not too much money, but we will accept that. So they want a whopping 300,000 for Jacob Hansen. I'll offer them 210,000. Please accept it. Oh damn, they're not interested in Page at all. So we're gonna go in with an offer of 375,000 uh, for Lewis Dunn, um, and hopefully let's get this deal done because they don't want Page at all for him. The offer for Darnell Johnson has been accepted. We're going to wait to see if we can get the other player in first that we're bidding for. Um, and then we'll decide if we want to go in for him. So we had our first scouting report. And oh my god, there's some good options here. Let's sign Sam Phillips and Jamie Morris. Hopefully they'll both be very good for us in the future. In other news, I'm just going to go in for Darnell Johnson. Too much effort trying to get the other lad. So he's going to bring him in from Leicester City as our second signing. So Colchester won a hell of a lot of money for... For Lewis Dunn, they want 550, 555,000. So 550,000, sorry. Um, I'm going to offer them 425. We don't want to be wasting all of our transfer budget on this player. He's just going to be rotational, so I reckon that would be decent. Um, and that's gone. And Igor Cardoso has requested a bit of a wage increase, um, so I'm more than happy to give him an extra bit of catch. So guys, that's actually going to be all for today's video. If you did enjoy, please smash the like button. And in the next episode, we'll be trying to sign uh, that one last player, I'm pretty sure. Um, and we might go through these three games. The first game against AFC Wimbledon, uh, and then Wolves in the Cup, and Bristol Rovers in the league to end off the episode. Um, so I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching this episode. If you did enjoy, please smash the like button. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.